In today's video, I'm going to show you three different ways that you can fix NVIDIA screen tearing problems. I'm going to try and teach you a few different ways and solutions that could help you fix this problem, uh, running through the most basic to some more advanced fixes. So let's get right into it. The first way you want to go ahead and fix this is you want to go to your desktop home screen like I'm on here. You want to find a blank space inside the screen and you want to right click. Now once you've right clicked you want to go down to where it says display settings and then from there you want to go ahead and scroll down to where it says advanced display settings. Now if you're on Windows 10 or Windows 11 it shouldn't uh, matter, it's going to be the same uh, fix, it just might be in slightly different areas. But you want to find advanced display settings like I've got here. And then the first thing you want to do is go to your refresh rate. By default you're probably on the very top one. And sometimes this can affect your screen tearing. So what you want to do is maybe lower it and test it, lower it again, test it, and lower it again and test it. And each different one, you might find that one of them has no tearing or it kind of fixes the solution. So I just recommend testing each of the different settings on here. And depending on your monitor, you're going to have um, some different refresh rate options. So just go ahead and test every single option first. Uh, and see if that helps. Now if it doesn't help then I'd recommend putting it back up to the top one because um, it obviously means this isn't the issue and this is going to be your one at the top for the best settings. Okay so the next thing you can try is going back to your desktop again right clicking and this time we're going to open up the NVIDIA control panel. So click on that here. Now if you haven't um, gone ahead and accept this you're going to have to go ahead read this and accept and continue. And then it's going to open up the control panel here. So we want to go across to the manage 3D settings section. Uh, click on it, it might take a second to load. And the one we're looking for, we want to scroll down, it's called vertical sync. Now what we can go ahead and do is we can go ahead and change the settings on this and this can help. So there's not necessarily one fix for everybody, you know, things change. So what I'd recommend doing is if you've got it turned on, turn on off, see if it works. If you've got it turned off, try and turn it on on. And just try some of these settings here to see if it helps at all. Um, this setting is one that usually can fix it. So just go ahead and test all these different ones. See if the problem persists after changing it. And if it does persist, then follow on to the next step you can try. So the next settings you might want to go ahead and look at are going to be in your settings. So you just want to go ahead, type in settings and go here. And we're looking for the section called gaming. So we want to go to gaming and there's a lot of different settings that could be affecting this. Um, there's things like allow your controller to open game bar. You might want to just try turn some of these settings on or off. But also there's things like captures. So um, if you have the captures automatically on you might want to turn that off. So this one here you might want to turn off. This one you might want to turn off and capture mouse cursor and recordings you might want to turn off as well. Sometimes these things can have a weird impact. So again, if you don't use it, I'd recommend just turning it off, seeing if it helps. And you've also got game mode as well. So some people have game mode on, some people have it off. Try and see how it does when you have them both on and off. So this setting here could impact it. For me, I have it turned on, but some people say that if you have it turned on, it can affect it. So, you know, try on and off, see if it fixes the problem. If not, I've got another solution for you after this. So the last method I would recommend looking at is updating your NVIDIA drivers. Uh, this can affect the way that your screen works, especially with specific games. So what I'd recommend doing is go to the NVIDIA website and look at the driver downloads. Select the product you've got, so what graphics card you've got or that kind of thing. Um, and then go ahead, search it and see if you've got the most up-to-date drivers. If you haven't, then you'll want to install that. And this can um, help fix the problem because, you know, sometimes new updates can help fix it and also it might just fresh install it in case you've got any corrupt files and things like that. So these are a few ways that I recommend trying to go ahead and fix the uh, screen tearing problem. If you found it useful be sure to like and subscribe, comment down below if it did help you out and let me know if there's any other videos you'd like me to make about gaming or any games in particular. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.